All right, here now with Nelly Corda after her second round of the Cognizant Founders Cup. Just, I mean, talk about powering through, bogey-free and in some pretty tough conditions. Just what, what went into the round today? Yeah, um, hit 17 out of 18 green, so that definitely helps. Um, I tried going 18 for 18, but I came up just short on 17. Uh, <laughs> I just hit it really well, um, hit it really well off the tee too, which is crucial out here because the, the thick rough and the wet conditions can get pretty brutal. Um, but overall, really pleased with my game. Yeah. How do you make yourself comfortable when things are uncomfortable, like these conditions today? Yeah, you kind of just have to um, say to yourself that everyone's kind of going through these conditions and that you just got to battle through it. I mean, um, everyone's in the same boat and you just kind of have to rise above it mentally and then enjoy the time that you have out there. For you, I mean, that front nine was just spectacular. Getting off, it looks like birdie, birdie start. Yeah. Uh, to do that again, when it's wet, it's windy, it's cold. Mm -hmm. uh, how much success does that set you up for? You feel like later in the round when you can get off to that hot of a start and you see that there are birdies out there. Yeah, sometimes birding the first hole is actually bad. <laughs> You're like, it's a downhill from here. Um, I hit, I was actually very pleased to just hit that fairway on the first hole. And then I, I hit a really good approach shot in. And then uh, with my length and hitting the fairway on number two, I had uh, a wood in to, to do that green. So I just two putted that. So, you know, everything's just about kind of staying very in the moment, staying very present um, in these kind of conditions, especially on this golf course, you know, seeing that. I'm on the opposite wave of Rose, who played really, really well yesterday, played really solid today, and Madeline going off same wave as me, um, but playing really well. Sometimes you get a too ahead of yourself, and um, you start maybe pressing a little too much, trying to make mistakes, but um, did a really good job of staying present and just staying in my own little bubble, just as it could be like a drinking game now, how many times I say it. Um, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I, I just did a good job at that, not trying to press too much and seeing where I could get my opportunities. This golf course is so narrow off the tee, and usually a player with your length, you would say, let's take advantage of it not, on a yeah. day like today. But how much of a premium are you putting on just putting the ball in the fairway where you're not have to, having to hit out of that wet rough? Yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't think it matters how long or short you are. Um, you know, this if you're a little bit of a shorter hitter and you're in the fairway versus a longer hitter in the rough, like the person in the fairway is going to have an advantage out here um, just because it's just um, so thick with the rain that they have gotten. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a, it's very crucial to be straight off the tee um, because that'll lead you to a better opportunity hitting it closer to the um, pin. You pretty much started when Rose was finishing at nine. Did you? Were you aware that she was that close to you at that point? At nine? Oh, like she was on the ninth hole? Uh, no, I, I didn't know what her score was at because um, once I kind of once I start my warm up, I don't even look, check the scoreboard leaderboard, and it's not on the range, so I don't check it. Um, no, I just kind of, I was at three under, I mean, even if, you know, she shot how many she shot under, I had to stick to my game plan and try to execute that because compared to, I feel like the morning yesterday didn't score as low as the afternoon did yesterday. Um, so I just knew that the t conditions were going to be tough and I just needed to focus in on what's right in front of me. When you look back on this round, I mean, I think on 9 and uh, 11, you had putts that were, you know, long, but they yeah. were right there. Mm -hmm. You're sitting there going, this could have been a really good round. Yeah, and, well, I would still say it's, it was a really good round <laughs> in the conditions. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, gosh, I, I putted really well today. Um, even if I, when I didn't hit it really close, I... Um, my putts just scared the hole. So overall, I'm very pleased with how I played today. And hopefully I can take that into the next 36 holes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now. Thank you.